Top Gun Maverick. And as a little appetizer, you can watch the original. It's this week's CBS Saturday Night Movie. And just in case you forgot, oh, E.T. was on the set of the OG film. Who didn't grow up wanting to fly an F-14? So it's very easy falling into the role. I am dangerous. I feel it's some of my best work. Tom called it. Top Gun would become the highest grossing film of 1986, earning over 350 million. And 36 years later, its quotes still live on. I feel the need, the need for speed. Take me to bed or lose me forever. Show me the way home, buddy. That was a line uh, we got uh, uh, from one of the pilots. I mean, there's no time to think up there. If you have to think, you're dead. If you think, you're dead. Top Gun had it all. Karaoke, fast motorcycles, and an unforgettable slow-mo beach volleyball scene. But some things you might not know about the film. This love scene was actually added after production wrap. It had to be shot in silhouette because Kelly McGillis had dyed her hair brown for her next role. Same goes for why she wore a hat in the elevator. The female lead in an all-male cast, it's great. <laughs> I feel like camp counselor. <laughs> While the role of Maverick was written for Tom, he originally turned it down multiple times. Other stars reportedly considered for the role, Rob Lowe, Charlie Sheen, and Robert Downey Jr. Oh, and this iconic scene? I can't hear you. Yep, Tom had never ridden a motorcycle before shooting this film. Don't you see yourself as being the uh, the sex symbol that the audience does? Not really, no. Of course, aside from Anthony Edwards and Meg Ryan, who dated in real life after the film wrapped, Val Kilmer and Tim Robbins. I'm bringing him in closer, Merlin. You're gonna do what? The film's other stars were the F-14s. It won't be all blue screen with fake jets flying around us. We'll really be up there. Real Top Gun pilots were actually on set to make sure everything was authentic. Do these Hollywood types really have the right stuff to be Top Gun? They're trainable. Barely. We'll just have to see. A-listers attended the film's New York premiere, including Cher, who dated both Tom and Val in the mid-80s. It's very exciting. It's very American. So I think it'll be a very beautiful movie, and it's very inspiring. All the actors, uh, we all had a great time. Ah!